Good morning. It's Lori from Lollipop Paper and Lollipop Paper and Ink. Thank you for joining me today for my Wednesday Facebook Live. Um, if you're here, just go ahead and um, type in hello, hi, smiley face, whatever. And um, if you're watching it on replay, just go ahead and type replay so I know that you were here. And um, if you have any comments, feel free to leave them. Uh, so today I wanted to talk a little bit about it's the end of the month, so went so fast. Um, my thank you cards. So every month at the end of the month, I send a thank you card, a handmade card to all of my customers, thanking them for their orders that they placed uh, during the month. So um, I have a bunch that I want to show you, and um, then I want to show you how I did one in particular using the snowman punch. So let me um, put you down and we'll see if we can do this and if it's going to come up let's see how does that look look okay all right i'm not sure if i have to um wait just a few seconds to see if it comes up on my ipad and then i'll be able to tell make sure i'm not upside down so uh let's just get started this is the um normally for my thank yous i make one card and i pretty much make it um the same card for everybody um but this time i'm using the snowman season <clears throat> excuse me um bundle which is the stamp set and this adorable little punch guy and um I, it was just such a fun set. I didn't want to make one. So I just kept going a little crazy and kept making, um, let me see if I can get that on here. Nope. Okay. Um, so I can see if I can get, um, I, I wanted to just make as much as I could because it was just such a fun, um, set to use. So, okay. I think I'm okay. I'm not upside down. That's good. Now I can go ahead. Uh, <clears throat> Okay, so these are a few of the ones that um, I did. So, like I said, I usually I do the same, but this time I'm going to do different ones for everyone because I just had so much fun using this little guy. So this is just a few of them that will be going out. And um, this is the uh, the snowman excuse me, so snowman season um, sweet. So, you know, all the colors are so coordinating and um, the uh, this I like the kind of the best because it's not the traditional Christmas colors. So um, it is uh, just, oh, I don't know if that got frozen there for a second. Uh, so anyway, um, the Coastal Cabana is just a really cool, beachy kind of uh christmas card so i did like that so these are just some of the samples that i'm that i will be sending out using all sorts of layering dies circles scallops squares uh you know the usual so but the one that um kind of caught my eye that i thought that i would do this uh, take time today for the facebook live was this one and this one <clears throat> is not actually a thank you card. This is a card that is going to be one of the um, five projects in my November holiday bundle class. And I can explain to you a little bit about how that works in a minute. But um, so I wanted to do this. Um, I'll do the, just a little sample of how I co uh, cropped out this little guy. And the punch is easy, but... I have a little trick that I did, and I, I usually do it when there are punches that have um, multiple images to, to, to crop out. So the thing is, like when you put your paper in there and you, you, know, you line up your snowman, then it's hard to line up the, um, the hat and the arms and wh whatever else was on there. So this is what I do. And of course, if I'm doing anything a little tricky, I... Um, I use my Stamparatus. So this is what I do. This is what I have here. I just did a stencil sort of, um, of car on car card stock and punched it out as it is here, um, you know, with the punch. So note to self though, which I didn't do when I, I did that and I was so proud of myself and okay, that's great. And then I went to go use it and I put it down this way. So that did not help me and I stamped it and 
that did not help me when I tried to put it into the punch. So I put a little star here so I know for myself not to make that mistake again. And um, that's so that's pretty much what we need to do. So I'm going to use the um, black memento ink. Take the little snowman guy out. And I'm just going to place him right inside there. And he kind of fits right in the groove. So uh, that's not really, that's not tough to do. And we'll do his little hat. And I'll put the hat on. Oh, my hair is not getting in the way. <laughs> I have big hair. Um, okay. So that just goes right there. And that's kind of, that's all I want really for today. Um, now, the arms, these little sticky things, they test my patience. Though I kind of... Let me explain to you why. It's it's very hard to um, get this to lay in there properly. Now, because, um, I'll take a shot. I'll take a chance and do it. It's hard to get them to just stay right there. Um, a lot of times I, I couldn't get it to work. So, and if I get one in, then I usually miss the other one. We're going to try this. If all else fails, I have a piece of black cardstock and I will just punch those out. So, but they do get a little, it, it, um, a little hard to, to manage because the area that gets inked is so thin that it tends to roll. So I'm just going to place these on the plate, on the Stamparatus plate. And again, I always put my, um, card stock in the corner, butt it up into that corner there so that I, um, am safe with if, if it does move out a little bit because the photopolymer do jump around a little bit when you're taking it out the rubber not so much so let's just see how this guy works all right okay so he looks pretty good all right and you just have to make sure your your um, paper that you're stamping on is um, a little bit wider than what your what your um, actual stencil is. So this, now I need to trim that a little bit. And let's see, just kind of get this guy as low as I can. And, uh, all right, ooh, that's not so bad with those little stick arms. I like it. Okay, so I don't have to go ahead and do the um, the the black card stuff. Good. All right, let me put this away so I don't mess that up. And I could have been a little more centered with the snowman, but you get the idea. I just wanted to share with you that idea of the um, stencil and um, using it that way. So. I'm not going to use this one because, like I said, this is from my holiday bundle class, and um, this is one of five projects. All the projects I'm using are from the Snowman Season Bundle, and there are a few ways that you can get these five projects for free. Um, the kits. One is just um, place an order online and um, through me, and I will send you the five kits, and you'll I'll have them all up photos of them on my blog or and on the um, the holiday bundle page um, by Friday so you can see the rest of them so this is just one out of the five so that's one way you can just get it by um, placing an order for that bundle online and I will send it to you another way is to um, join the class which is next um, which is what day it is November 20th I think Yes, November 20th here in my studio. And um, you tell me that you're joining the class. I order the bundle and you come here. We put the five cards together, the five card projects. Simple. Um, another way to get it is to, if you already own the stamp set, um, I that's, that's great. And you still want it. You just have to, you still want the five kits. Just email me and I will... Um, I will send them to you, uh, the five kits. I'll just send them to you. I'll PayPal you um, just for the invoice for just for those kits. But if you if you order it online or if you come to the class, the kits are totally free. 
Okay, so anyway, so that's this card. So, but I wanted to put this little guy together for you today so we can use our little snowman. And, um, okay, got my snail out. And I use the, um, well, this is the three high seas, uh, I think it's called. High seas, um, three. 3D embossing folder and I I mean like obviously it's looks like waves this way but since I kind of wanted it to be like a snowy scene I'm putting it upside down and this is not so far off from what I used to look out of my front window in Connecticut because the snow was piled up that high not so much here in, in uh, New Jersey though I have to say it's a little disappointing. I thought I'd have a little bit more. But anyway, so I'm just putting this. This is from the DSP. And um, put that on there. Now I'm going to put my little snowman on here because I also wanted to show you this cool snowfall accents puff paint and how that works and how cool that is. Um, let me get some dimensionals. I'm sorry. I knew I was going to forget stuff today. Rushing, rushing. All right, so we're going to cut up some of these guys here. And I'm just going to put him right here. And then we'll put his hat on and his little stick hands. And I'm going to put him a little bit down lower than what I normally would do. Oh, you know what? I should have put the... Um, His, his hands on first, but that's okay. Oh, come on. This is, piece is so tiny. It's a problem with cutting them. All right. Okay, so let's put this guy here. And I could probably um, do a little um, blends marking, markers, to color in this hat a little bit. It's so cute. All right, so I'm just going to stick a little bit of adhesive here. And here. And we'll put him back. Good enough. All right, you're doing fine, little guy. Okay, so now I'm just going to put him on here. I have a little tag that I would put, uh, that I think I'll put underneath it. I'm gonna use the um, triple banner punch and get that on that. And then I can just put him here. Okay. And then, all right, let me show you how this cool thing works. It's just dots that's all you need is just some dots here and I'm just going to make it just on top very tiny oh that was a big one I don't want it that big okay we'll just do the top of him and then you just take your and that's all it is shake it well put a few dots on there and then take your heat tool and just heat them up a little bit. And you can see them literally come to life. Now you have to just be careful. It's sort of like a marshmallow. Um, once you, It might get a little toasty. So once you see that you might see a little bit of a brown mark, which I did on one of mine, um, then you know it's time to stop. But look how cute that is. And it dries pretty well, see? They're actually, you can see from these here, that it's, um, it's really taking shape. It's, it's got that three-dimensional shape to it. There, let me show you that. Isn't that adorable? So cute. And I would put this on with dimensionals too. I just wanted to, normally I would put the snowman on, um, after this guy was already down here but I wanted to show you it 
up close. Okay, so there we go. There is another, whoops, too far down, another thank you card from my customers to show them how much I appreciate them throughout the month. And everybody gets one this month. Everyone will have a different one. And um, I hope that they, I know that they appreciate it when they get something like this in the mail. And what I do is I don't write on it. I am sending this as my gift. So um, I just send that. Let me bring it back up here. Oh, okay. So I just send that in the mail with a little tiny card that says thank you for this month's order or whatever. And you can use this card to use it yourself or to send it out to somebody special. So that's it. That's my thank you for November. And I will be getting the rest of these out. Hope um, My thank you for October, sorry. Um, I'll be getting these out hopefully by Friday, November 1st. Um, so just some things to remember just about the holiday uh, bundle class. Um, I'll have that all posted on my blog uh, by Friday with all the pictures and a few ways that you can go ahead and, um, and get those card kits. And, you know, once you see what they look like, you're going to want to get it. So thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. I hope you come back again. Um, if you're watching it on YouTube, then just um, subscribe to my channel so that I usually upload them by the end of the day of, for my, my Facebook Lives to get uploaded. So, um, so that's it. I appreciate it. Um, I will have some details about this, the products that I used here in the um, description. And um, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them. I love comments and I love um, to be able to go back and answer them for you. So thanks again for joining me. Have a great day. Bye bye.